So I already talked about the Atari box on my channel before. Here is a picture of the Atari box, but really quickly, if you don't know what the Atari box is, Atari is supposed to be making this new console called the Atari box. It's supposed to be made with some type of AMD custom chipset. It's supposed to be apparently made out of real wood. Yes, real wood. It's supposed to be using some kind of build of Linux, and it's also supposed to be priced right around $250 to $300. So it's priced right around the same price as as the current gen base models whether that be the Nintendo Switch the Xbox One S or the PS4 Slim it's priced right around there and outside of those little small details we really don't have any more information on the Atari box we really don't know what type of games it's going to be playing whether that be old retro Atari games indie games or modern games we really have no way of knowing what type of games the Atari box is going to be playing but we do have some more information on the Atari box recently there's been a picture leaking the controller of the Atari box now is this going to be the controller that's uh, bundled in with the system or is it going to be a controller that you can buy separately I don't know but honestly this controller that we just found out about has me kind of concerned about the Atari box here's what the controller looks like for the Atari box right here as you can see on screen it does look like an old Atari uh, uh, controller it does have your standard uh, joystick compartment at the top just your joystick going down and it does have one button on it the big red button and then on the side you can see it does have some other buttons it has it looks like a back button and a home button so it makes me wonder if this thing is running Android this thing could easily be running Android just because those remind me of Android key buttons right there overall I this thing does really concern me now I know a lot of people out there were already worried that this Atari box was gonna fail I was in the same boat that the Atari box was gonna fail but this even uh, this picture right here even uh, makes me want to think that the Atari box is definitely going to fail if they're going to be shipping this controller with the Atari box because who are they marketing the Atari box uh, for first of all because if they're trying to uh, put a controller in like that it won't really uh, get anyone excited think about people who are young like in their 20s and 30s they're not going to have nostalgic for this and this is going to make them think that this console is running like old Atari games is this going to be running old Atari games it makes you think that it's going to be running old Atari games just because it looks like this is the controller for it but you got to realize if they're trying to tell us that this Atari box is going to be priced right around 250 to 300 dollars you can't expect me to buy the Atari box for 250 to 300 dollars and just sit there and play old Atari games because that's not going to fly I can easily go out and buy a current gen system like the Switch the uh, PlayStation 4 or the Xbox one and play modern games and have much more funner I don't think this thing is going to be playing modern games that's the uh, I mean I'm, I don't think it's going to be playing a uh, retro games it may be playing some retro games on the back like some old Atari games or some emulators but I think it's gonna be playing much more modern games and that has me concerned because this thing only has one joy joystick and it has one button right there the one big button you cannot play indie games or you cannot play like regular modern games with this controller I wonder if this is just gonna be a controller that Atari is gonna sell separately with the system and you're gonna to have to provide your own controller because there was like I said that rumor that people kept saying this thing's going to be running some type of Linux or Android based system and if this thing does run like a, a custom uh, Linux operating system or if it runs Android or even if it runs their own operating system they can easily make it work with uh, current gen con console controllers so we might be having to purchase our own controller for this like a PlayStation controller a, a Xbox controller and plug it in but that might be a bad idea as well it may seem good in practice that you can use a regular controller if this is not going to be the one bundled in but here's the problem the problem Problem is this system's already 250 to 300 dollars. So in the first place, it's still the same price as the current gen base models, and they already come with the controller that's already built in that can play the games natively. But if this thing is if this thing has to be used with another controller and you have to buy this separately then this is just going to add on to the price overall I'm not really feeling the Atari box right now I don't know what I want to think about this controller is this the one bundled in is this the one not bundled in who are they trying to target the Atari box for because let's face it if you were to, like I said if you were to walk into the store and look at this thing especially a younger person walk in walk into a store and see this controller uh next to the other controllers like an Xbox one controller a PS4 controller 
controller or even the switch uh controllers i don't think they may not they may stray away from this they may be like this looks like some kind of uh retro controller i'm not really a big fan of it and honestly i don't think this thing would be even if it did allow allow some way to play modern games with this which i'm pretty sure you still wouldn't be able to play modern games with this but if somehow you were to play modern games with this i just don't think this would be a very comfortable controller because controllers today are actually like uh are actually made to be comfortable in your hand and with one joystick this thing's not going to be comfortable for long hours of gaming overall i hope i'm just hoping atari does not make the decision to actually uh, make us get our own controller or use this controller because this is not going to be looking too good for the atari box anyway this is wayne from my tech news signing out